Thanks for having me. I feel great honor to have this opportunity to participate in this wonderful event. Uh, I feel very blessed for the opportunity that I met with Dean uh, in the School of Public Health in Harvard. And I, at the time, I thought, what a great opportunity if we can do something together to encourage the leaders in the public health um, to help each other in the global network. And it just happened right before the coronavirus took a hit on the world. Uh, so when we did our recap uh, for this program, again, I feel very blessed for this opportunity. And I think uh, this program uh, will light the torch in the future to encourage more and more women to join force and help each other, help their community, help their nation to fight against the pandemics in the future. I feel mentorship and network are very critical for the career development and healthiness of female leaders and female uh, friends in the global places. Uh, there are a couple of things I have noticed. Uh, in the workplace, uh, normally uh, females enjoy the environment that we can communicate. And we are very good with team buildings, very good with uh, putting ourselves in other people's shoes very good with uh, being very willing to make personal sacrifice for the best interest of the team. So that's why I think to have a good network which offers good mentorship is very critical, uh, particularly for the young uh, females who are entering into the workforce, who are entering into the college, who start a new chapter of their lives. Uh, if we can help each other by sharing our experience and encourage each other uh, during the time when we have pressure, I think our life will be filled with more inspiration. Mm. I would love to uh, share my personal story with you. Uh, when I came to the USA, I worked in a restaurant making $3 per hour to make myself, uh, make my ends meet. But my professor's family were very kind to me. They took me in and treated me as their own daughter. So I told uh, my professor's family that someday when I'm able to, I want to take good care of them. Uh, but they told me, oh honey, you don't need to take care of us. Instead, if you can help uh, the international student who work so hard, try to be successful in the same way as we help you, that will be wonderful. So although at that time I was penniless, I always had a dream that someday, if I'm able to, I want to establish a scholarship to help the international students uh, to be successful. So I was very glad in 2016, I went back to my school and established a scholarship named after my professor. And the leader program, again, is very much under their influence uh, with the mind to help more international females to help each other. Uh, so I think the role model my professor and his wife has established for me changed my life and laid out my strong foundation in getting uh, the community, giving our world everything I can and help uh, the students, help our female leaders, help other young people to be successful. If we can uh, encourage ourselves and push ourselves out of the comfort zone, uh, we will be able to take on more responsibility. Uh, so at year end, a lot of male employees will come to my office, ask for raises, ask for promotion. But for my female employees, very few of them do that. I think we deserve to be recognized. Uh, we deserve, we need to work hard, but on the other hand, we also need to dare to push ourselves to take on more responsibility and take on uh, more uh, share of, of the responsibility within a bigger organization and always step up and step out from our comfort zone. 